Hey! So this is the first video of a series I am going to record documenting my experience um, as I learn React. Um, so the challenge I've set for myself is 30 days of React where I create like a basic app each day um, and then go over my code and explain it. Um, so far I've only been playing with React for a day or two so my first project is super super basic. Um, but hopefully over the next couple of months I um, will be able to scale the projects up and start doing more complicated things while still being able to explain them. That's the goal anyway. So why am I doing this? Um, a is accountability. At the moment I'm trying to self-learn and it's difficult um, to find motivation sometimes. So I guess uploading a daily video or a video every couple of days gives you some social accountability even if nobody's watching them. Um, also to improve my communication skills. I think sometimes I have trouble explaining things and I'm sure doing this on a regular basis will help me immensely. So that is another goal. Um, and of course, because explaining, having to explain yourself helps you to learn. So just being forced to go over everything I'm doing and ex like truly understand how it all works will help me a lot. And yeah, that's it. Um, so let's have a look at the first project. Okay, so this is app number one, day one, which is called Question and Answer. Um, it is a very basic app, which just consists of one external component and a single event handler. Um, what this app does is allow the user to reveal the answer to a question by clicking on, clicking on it, like so. Um, cool, so let's have a look at the code. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about are my two main variables, which are question and answer. Um, I've defined these via state. Um, I could have hard-coded them in, but or at least hard-coded answer in, but um, I know that state is really important in React, and since I was just starting, I wanted to start playing with it, so here we go. Um, they're also nice and convenient up the top if I wish to change them at any point, which is also a bonus. Um, I've also created an event handler uh, function here. And what happens when this runs is it takes the current, um, it takes question, this dot set state on question, and sets it to the value of answer. So whenever this is triggered, basically answer, um, question just becomes equal to answer. There are probably, I'm sure there are many uh, better ways that I could have done this, but this is just kind of how it rolled this time around, so I'm going with it. Um, and then lastly, I've created a question component, uh, which we render a single time down here within our app.js. Um, here's a wee quick look at it. Uh, I've also added some inline styling here. Cool, but we'll come back to that in a moment anyway. So. Upon first load, as mentioned, we render a single question component to the DOM. Um, we're also passing in like two key properties for the component to use. Um, these are this property question, which is equal to this dot state dot question. So it's going to equal what is the world's deepest lake? And that's what this component uses to render this question. We're also passing in the property click. And that is a, is a reference to this um, entire event handler here. And passing it as, in as a property means that we can use it within the component as well. Cool. So as we know, upon clicking the question, we reveal the answer to the question. But how does this actually happen? So let's take another look at the component. So what happens is when the question is clicked, we're actually triggering an on-click um, event within this component. Um, and because we passed our event in via the click property, if we go back here, we can see we passed in a property called click, which referenced this, com this um, function. We actually trigger that event to happen, and this code runs. 
And then if we remember what that event handler does, it updates the question to actually equal answer. So this is flipping state completely. So that answer now equals question. Sorry, that's quite a confusing way that I've done it, but um, anyway. And every time state is updated with React, the DOM automatically re-renders. So what it's gonna do is re-render our page, except question will now equal the answer, or at least question now equals um, state dot answer, if that makes sense. It makes sense to me now, but yeah. Again, I'm sure there's a better way that I could have done it, but oh well. So that's basically it um, for day one of React for me. So cool. Bye.